what we want to showcase here is how Festo is agnostic in the market. Uh, as you can see, we have two collaborative robots working together with Festo components. Uh, we produce linear rails that are unique in the market, and the idea here is to show that our linear axis can work directly with multiple brands. Um, collaborative robots are huge in the market, and we want to work with everybody. So what we want to showcase here is the robots are communicating with our servo drives with different protocols. Festo is super agnostic in the market. We work with Ethercat, Profinet, Ethernet IP, Modbus TCP, and others. So the idea here is the, the universal robot is directly talking to Festo drives via Modbus TCP, and then the GoFa collaborative robot from ABB is talking with the Festo drives over Ethernet IP, a standardized protocol, but they can also use Profinet. So the idea is uh, you can standardize on any protocol you want as long as the robot can talk and Festo can communicate with. Um, we also showcase the, how the linear axis from Festo are, so we can go up to 10 meters length, and vertically we can go uh, on both screw, very specific axis, uh, material handling, sanding applications, where you can have a specific axis with air inside so you don't get dust inside. Um, the other thing is about the Festo axis is we produce the Festo components and everything in global production facilities, so we sell as a one kit solution. The idea here is you tell us which robot you're using and we can put together the mechanical system for it. Another interesting point of this demonstration here is the fact that Festo produced very specific valves for the market. So we have a specific valve for this gripper that is called the VPPI, which is able to handle positive and negative pressure by using one single analog channel. So from the robot, I have an analog signal that I can drive across my program, and then if I activate this, now I can change from positive pressure to negative pressure with one single signal. And that is controlled by the Festo uh, VPPI a specific value. So this analog signal helps you to define, okay, uh, how, much I, how much of a pressure I want to have to grab some delicate parts, like eggs, or because it's FDA approved, so that you can interface with uh, direct food. Or you can grab, for example, a light bulb in glass, things like that. So you don't, you're not gonna crash it, but you still wanna be able to grab it. To be able to be part of the ecosystem for Universal Robots or ABB, you have to qualify for a particular points. So for example, in this case, we integrated our servos directly using the SDK from uh, Universal Robots. So we were able to configure individual access, set up multiple points, jog, uh, set it up the way we want it from here. So the customer, don't have, they don't have to go through in a different platform to program the access. Everything runs directly on the Teach Pendant, and from here you can program your six axis robot as well as the Festo axis. That's unique. We did the same thing for ABB. So in the ABB environment, we also developed the application that runs on something called Wizard, which is extremely easy to interface, and you can pick and choose the axis, uh, tell the position you want to go, the velocity, and that's it. So it's super simple. One more uh, key point here is the ecosystem that runs on every single uh, collaborative robot, Festo is part of it. So ABB has their own um, unique uh, ecosystem. The idea is that Festo also provides components directly in that ecosystem, and all the same way for UR. UR also has their own ecosystem, so Festo works with that. Uh, the work here is really be agnostic, uh, and there are others in the market that we also work with. Uh, the idea here also is uh, when you go online, select the robot you want, the type of brand you want, Festo will have something for it available.